Melbourne. Thanks for coming by. I'm sure you're very anxious to get out on track. It's taken a lot of effort to get to F1. Congratulations. But the real work starts now. This is... Claire, motorsports journalist. Nice to meet you. You'll be seeing quite a lot of me throughout the season. So, you had a pretty impressive junior career. How are you feeling about your move into F1? Do you think you have what it takes? Let's save the questions for a proper interview, shall we? I'm sure you'll have a lot more to talk about once there's been some action on track. I think we could fit you in after FP1 if you're free. That works for me. I'll grab you the second you finish on the track. Remember, the relationship you have with the team can be affected by what you say to the media. So be careful. Anyway, it's time to catch up with Carl. He's waiting for you in the data center. Good luck out there today. Welcome to the data center. Here, we've got access to all kinds of information, including car telemetry, weather, lap times, tire wear, the list goes on. Plus, we've got a direct link back to the factory, so we're in constant communication with the team there. We need you to regularly feedback about areas of the car that are lacking and help us direct our resources in the most productive way. More effort here equals a quicker car, so it's well worth the effort. Good luck this season. Oh. And make us all look good, okay? Welcome to your new team. McLaren are one of the most successful teams in the sport, and they've reinvented themselves over the past few years. They demand excellence from all areas of their organization, and they'll expect you to integrate yourself and get up to speed from the first race. Here you can see the pertinent details about your current contract. On one side are the objectives and bonuses that we've negotiated with the team. On the other is information regarding how you're perceived throughout the paddock, your reputation with the current team, and your overall value to them, which is a combination of these elements. Winning rivalries is a great way to earn respect from your team and around the paddock, which will help make it easier to negotiate favorable contracts. Your first rival is always your teammate, but you can choose who to declare as your second. The harder the rival from the eligible selection, the more respect you stand to gain or lose depending on the result.